All right, on to uh, the next race number eight, class two here of the 1200 metres, our final visit to, to the all weather. Field headed by uh, Will Power is a five time course and distance winner, Red Desert down in class, down in trip as well from the 1650 is behind Elusive State last time out, as was Encore Boy. He finished second to Red Desert's uh, third. We've got Silver Fig comes up in class for a last start win, beating Gunner. Sunny Boy also up in class for a last start win. Ugly Warrior continues to slide down the ratings, but he's a six time course and distance winner, Elite Patch and We the South both. Both up in class with Elite, uh, We the South making his all weather debut. Young legend uh, off a mark of 81 gets barrier number one with Dylan Moe in the saddle. Will Power, Encore Boy, Sunny Boy, and Young Legend are the horses uh, that have been up at uh, Chung Fa Tom in the last 30 days. Yeah, and the speed in this race uh, probably comes from We the South. He's a horse that uh, is known to uh, go forward. Uh, ugly Warrior, he can sit handy. He's got uh, gate number two, uh, We the South, across from gate seven. Red Desert there in six for Chad Schofield. Looks a little awkward for Zach Burton on. Uh, Zarsen out of gate number eight. You've got Encore Boy and Young Legend Hong Kong bet on that three wide line as well. Silver Fig probably gets back and Will Power to be somewhere, probably midfield there or thereabouts so from gate number four for uh, Karis Teton. But uh, we the South potentially to lead here uh, from barrier seven for Wagner Borges. Uh, Will Power is going really nicely at the moment. You can see under double wraps here in his track work. Uh, he's had a recent trial as well, I thought the trial was okay, but uh, nice uh, piece of work here from him as he comes down. And uh, super keen. Uh, Zarsan, just a little bit of light work for him as well as he comes down 800 metres. Not one that travels nicely, and again, we know he likes the surface. Uh, coming back onto it after a couple of shots in runs. Uh, as Tom said, just a little bit awkward in barrier number eight, that's the only issue there. And uh, Silver Fig, just working with his partner here, he was really asked to stretch out this particular morning, and I thought he stretched out nicely as well. Another one who'll need pace on, but he should get it and uh, moves nicely here as well. All right, we'll have a look at that win of Silver Figs in a moment or so. We'll start off, though, with um, Encore Boy and Red Desert be finishing behind Silver Figs' stable mate in an elusive state last time out, Tom. This is over the 1650. But you'd think back to the 1200 metres would suit both of them. Absolutely, because they're both 1200 metre winners uh, on the all weather. Encore Boy, three uh, wins course and distance. Red Desert, two course and distance. And they tried them over 1650. I don't think they were disgraced at all here behind uh, elusive uh, state. Encore Boy was uh, running on. I think he's sort of one of those uh, horses to uh, poor. What you see on the tin is what you get with him. He's uh, normally fairly genuine on the all-weather. Yeah, he, he, he's getting on a little bit, but still running well, isn't he? I, I like Red Desert coming back to 1,200 as well. I've got him in on a minor lot. OK, here is that win of uh, Silver Figs last time out. So now finds himself, Paul, in uh, Class 2 for the first time. Do you think he's up to it? Yeah, look, I, I didn't sneak him in in the end. He was right on the cusp uh, for me, Silver Fig. So I'd like to see him just up here into Class 2 for the first time. But there was nothing wrong with this win. It was a, a strong win, and he hit the line really nicely. It was good to see him uh, come back and win this because uh, two runs ago he had no luck. He copped a nasty check down the back straight and came back with a, a rather nasty cut on his leg. But he came back to uh, win this, and I don't think there's uh, too many concerns of them uh, stepping up here, Silver Fig. Yeah, I think he can definitely get involved, uh, Silver Fig. He goes in for me. What about uh, Sunny Boy then, Tom? Also up in class on the back of this. It doesn't uh, win out of turn this horse. Three from 18, two course and distance. He was three back the fence on this occasion, but he got the gap uh, here uh, between Sunset Watch and uh, All for South and uh, ran on nicely here uh, once he got into the clear. So i um, interested to see what he can do here. Paul, he's put up uh, a bit more weight on his back. He's never been able to finish better than third in this grade. Yeah, that was a little concern. There was a lot of money for him in, in that uh, race as well. He came right into 8.5. So, look, he, they got the cash. He won nicely. Uh, just whether he can do it up in grade now. OK, well, speaking of class, it seems to be the, the issue potentially with a couple of them. Zarsen back at the trials here. He's had a couple of tries in this grade without a win. But uh, Will Power has certainly won in this class, Paul. Yeah, definitely. We know he's an all-weather specialist. And he ran really well, I thought, at uh, Happy Valley. I was quite surprised by that, to be honest. But he ran nicely on the turf as well in this grade. So, uh, look, he's, he's going well at the moment. He was pushed out a little bit, as I said, in this trial. Uh, but once he gets on to race now, I think he's going to be tough to beat. Yeah, didn't get Zarsen in the end, but there's nothing wrong with the, the trial. And the, the form that the race has come out, of course, Wellington's come out and uh, won. Uh, Will Power thought was very good in that trial there, um, just uh, boxed on OK there. Talking of specialists, Tom, Ugly Warrior. What a him as he slides down the ratings. Well, he's been out of form for a while. This horse uh, last win, June 2019, off 92 points. He was just behind the, the speed in this uh, barrier trial. You can see there in the middle of the track, he is closing off uh, nicely here over the final stages. I put him in with Joe Maria from gate number two. Um, 
He's been in the wilderness, though, Paul, for a wee while now. Yeah, I'd just like to see him do it again. He is coming back onto the surface, and that's important. Mm. Got up his career high, Mike, of 98. Mm. Went to Korea as well for the international sprint, but uh, Joe's an interesting booking mm. there. Uh, Red Desert, the favourite here, Paul? Yeah, I'm with Willpower, though. I think Willpower, even though he has to carry the top weight, uh, from barrier four, he can settle midfield, and he's got that powerful burst, as we know. Azarsan, I think Zach will end up just outside the leader. He'll just keep pushing on. Are we the south from the front as well? I can see him running a race from the front, especially if he's left alone. And then Red Desert, uh, the favourite in there for fourth. One, five, 11, and two. One and two, Mike Quinella, Will Power and uh, Red Desert. But I think uh, Will Power can continue on his uh, winning way to uh, get another win on the surface. Uh, number two, Red Desert. And put an ugly warrior. And I think Silver Fig can still uh, run well up in grade here, uh, provided he gets sufficient speed, which I think he will. So one, two, nine and seven. I think it's a very open race. I take a chance of sorts with, uh, with We the South there stepping onto the all-weather for the first time. That's race number eight.